What's up, boss? You called? Jack, we've got an urgent matter to attend to, Jack. It's going to require all hands on deck. So I need you to gather the troops. <sighs> so we're getting the band back together. Precisely. So can I count on you to get the job done? Absolutely, boss. I'll be back in no time. Shut up and sit down. Hey you skellywags, so at the end of last year I did a video of the first lot of the Bucks team, Bob and Jack in their new designs, and a month later these guys were released. I did an unboxing at the time, so this video is long overdue. But if you haven't seen either of those, go check those out after this video, links will be in the description. So from the left we've got new designs of Steel, Argus, and let's take a look now at King. Now, I'm not saying it's all bad. I think the guy who played Kang was great with what he had to work with. Mm, agreed. But it just seems to me like the MCU has been more about quantity over quality. Can't argue that one, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. <laughs> What a surprise to find you in the pub, huh? Who's that? Your Majesty. Jack! King. What are you doing here? The old man sent me. Bucks team business. Big time bucks. Need the whole crew, including you. Well, that sounds rather serious, and I'm flattered, quite frankly. Pretty effing cool if you ask me. Just give me a moment, can't let a good drink go to waste. <sighs> Alright Trevor, it looks like I'll catch you next time mate. Send a text when you're next around. Sure thing we could get proper plastered next time. Alright Jack, let's go. Like what you've done with your hair mate. Here's King with most of his accessories on. He's got a few other little bits. But first we'll have a look at him in more detail. He actually supports surprised me with how much I actually like him. I thought I'd like him the least, but I think I like all of them equally. I love how all of these guys turned out. They're all different, but they have similarities to know they're from the same team. This helmet thing just comes off there, the mask there, whatever it is. It's a bit more rubbery than the others. Not sure why that is. See there even got detail inside there which is really awesome rubbery I actually think this face came out all right looks uh, different the head moves there the neck bit actually helps quite a bit too another shoulder pads there he's got This uh, stick, screamer stick or whatever it is, is attached to this bit on the forearm. Belt there. This uh, device for his fist. Pretty cool. It's connected as well. Those bits you put on yourself. There's a gun there. All the bottom bits of the legs are all the same on the bucks. Grenades. This knife. This thing on the back. Let's start from the top again. So the head can move around at the top bit there. And the neck. Arm goes up about there. All the way around. Bicep twist. Bend at the elbow hand you can like move around and it goes uh, like left and right normal stuff this goes down and up up upper movement there at the torso down there at the waist jean claude oh not too bad the king of my castle twist that thigh leg goes up back Slightly hindered by that, not as bad as Jack though. And double bent at the knee. 
down, up the foot, left and right, bit, pivot, there. I'm not actually sure if this bit's supposed to be there. So here, remove that, and you've got to push it in slightly because it's, otherwise it's loose. So push it in just a bit more so it sticks in. You could also put it in his hands like that. Solid weapon. So this thing plugs into that bit on the forearm. And that bit I've put on the other side. So that plugs in there very easily. Gun here. You can remove. There. This thing. Put on there. You can hold this on either hand. Put it on the right one. There you go. Looks good. You have to take this off with nowhere to store that. So you can store this on the side. The side arm. This knife. Exactly the same as Bob's, but uh, Bob didn't have anywhere to store it. And you can, of course, hold this like a champ. There. Slide that back in. This like is a knuckle duster for his right hand. Stretches out the hand just a bit, so be aware of that, but fits in nicely. There you go. Two fisty cuffs. This uh, gun, similar to Bob's, as it's uh, modular. The middle bit's the same. I think one. This bit here is the same. This bit is different. On the cover, Jack uses this without that front bit. Which still looks good, actually. Quite like the look of that. Works well. I think I'll have him holding this. I like that. This thing on the back. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, but this bit slides off. Just got to pull it out. Well, let's take this off first and then that just slides out. There, see? So this, you put out like that. There. Seen in some promo images, he's holding it like this. Not exactly sure what, what it is, though. Let me know if you, if you know. Let me know. Doesn't exactly fit in nicely though. There. So put this back, you just have to align that so the hole is in line. See that there? It's a clip a bit on the top where the collar is, so there. And then pop that in the hole. Fits in nicely. And this thing, close. And then you should be able to slot it in that little hole. That hole is a goal. There. That fits in the best out of the lot. This thing we'll put back on. This here. And then let's put his uh, face helmet thing on. There. So this it tends to not come off, but if you move his head quite a bit and hold it, it'll, it might come off by accident, but it's the, the least secure of uh, the Bucks team and their masks, but it still works. So he has all the movement you would want from a figure, really, hindered only by some of the accessories primarily like the belt thing but again it's not as bad as like say jack's i was hoping it'd be better for jack but oh well 
but really really su surprised me with how much i like this figure more like it a lot more than i thought i would i thought it'd be my least favorite but yeah he's just as good as everyone else looks great and his uh, weapons are are different it's more like a, a melee combatant let's say using his fists and that escrimmer stick thing wish he had two of those actually that'd be pretty cool but as is brilliant work from uh I said Rain World. A wise man once said, you must be like water. That was Bruce Lee, and he's dead. Just like you're gonna be. Don't let your rage take over. Calm yourself, Sophie. Shut up, Dad. I think you broke my nose. Now, now, guys, what's with the family bickering? Argus, we need you. <laughs> no beating around the bush. I guess nothing changes, Jack. Except your hair. All right, Sophie. Daddy's got to go to work. Ew, Dad. Why'd you have to say it like that? A wise man once said, "Don't look under my bed. It'll scar you for life." This is the new look, Argus. Let's take a closer look. So this helmet really drew me to this character in, in designs and looking at promo pics before release. I really like that almost transparent blue this thing here I quite like as well There's loads of detail underneath this is a secondary look but we'll take a look at um, a look without that as well these side bits here I don't think are necessary I don't really like those all around awesome and it's great that he's got two looks so this thing here I can remove if I do end up using this Still, I'll probably not use these. I'll attempt to change things over to the other one. See the more detailed look. The design. As you can see, there's all that stuff underneath. Three bullets there. There as well. So this is the vest that he comes equipped with straight out of the box which is basically the same as what we've got on there except it doesn't have those extra bits that go over it and this is his sniper which is a huge gun that folds up see there folds out and this bit can come down very nice looking gun i like that folding mechanism to it as well some instructions so just telling you how to remove things just fairly straightforward although these uh, uh, can be a bit difficult to put back on so I would get some like jewelry pliers that you can use this is for the sniper some extra bit there which I'll show you uh, how that works so this thing here undo that so you just open like that, then just pop this in. So for like, you can have it remotely stood up like that, more than more like that. There you go. And you know, just uh, imagine you could do that like that on the floor. So this thing, you just fold back up like that. Just pop on his back. There you go. The sniper. Get him to hold it. Go see how huge this thing is. It's like a, a Sophie's got a huge sniper as well, which uh, doesn't fold up though. Looks pretty badass there. I wonder if we could fire it like that. That looks pretty cool. So this, nowhere really to put it, but you can maybe put it into this bit. Just 
turn that bit around. Wish they they made a sort of plug for it, but they haven't on this, so you can put it on there really if you want. Looks all right. Or you could just end up removing this bit, which I might give to Jack, and then just stick this on the back. And voila. These three um, uh, things. Supposed to, yeah, these, those basically supposed to represent them. Three of them there. I think they're just like a huge bullet kind of thing for this, this gun. Just pop it on the top. This is unique to Argus. There. And you can hold this in either hand. Quite a cool gun. When he's not sniping. Just pop that back in there on the back. Fortunately, I don't think you can pop this on at the same time. Nah. It's a great looking figure. Oh, I've got to take this bit off actually. There you go, look. Almost transparent. Nice blue. And there's his face. It's alright, you can move it a bit there. Usual stuff. Arm goes about there. Round. Twist, bicep. Up. up. Bend at the elbow, move the hand. Down and up for there. Movement. At the torso and waist. Let's see. Jean Claude. Oh, I guess. Twist the thigh, leg up, back. Double bend at the knee when it's not. That thing's not getting away. Left and right, down, up, pivot. This just goes in nicely like that. So this vesting. Take it off on one side. Just take this off around the neck. There you go. Rather unflattering body. So pop this in. Clipping it back on is going to be the hard part. So you've got to get that in. There you go. There. Pop that back in. Look at that. His head pops in there. The way his uh, torso armour is, uh, his neck is... Slightly more noticeable, so you have to have it at certain angles, but I do like this as well. It's a nice, nice look for him. I like both looks. Put that back on his back. And there, look at that. All sort of streamlined. Like it. And there's that too. So yeah, different options for Argus, looking great. Hey, bonjour. Oh, jeez, oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> I'm like a, a silent but deadly, unstoppable bomber. That's not nearly as flattering as you think it sounds. Ah, uh, so you like to dance? Uh, not with you. See you later, bye! Not even one? Ah, uh, it's okay, haha, <laughs> I'm having uh, such a good time, <laughs> dancing, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel the rhythm in my, the, the bones, yeah! <laughs> Steel, let's get out of here. Oh, Jack, I'm, but I'm having so much! Okay.
Next we have New Look Steel. With all these other extra bits on him. So let's take a closer look. So he was the one I was most looking forward to because of the uh, extra arm bits he comes with. Which I love generally on Acid Rain. The head can't really move though with that breather bit on. You can lift that up, which is a bonus. See his eyes. I think he's got the most detailed eyes uh, of the new Bucks. So it fits that you can put it up there and see it. This thing though, you can remove. It does give him uh, a bit more breathing room, pun intended. So a nice look though. Really like it. These bits you put on there, these little grenades. I like how that works there, on that pauldron bit. The, all these little bits you, you actually slot in, and that you plug in there as well, so be careful of losing those, they're tiny. So just be aware of that. I haven't had them pop off though, unless you're really going into articulation. This bit as well, so that plugs into that side bit which the others have. See, look. So switch between them if you like. All modular stuff, really, between them. All the Bucks team. And that's the same as the others. Uh, so it's gone off. This thing here on the back main event these arms these uh, missile things for the launcher rocket launcher can come off can replace it with any of the others take this off same there on the back this gun can come off it can come off <laughs> take that off that's how it works Look that back in. And hold this gun on either hand. And this, Jack's got two of these. Extended mag or mag coming out kind of gun, but nowhere to store that one. Dual wheel there. So his head can move more without that breather bit, so let's see. Up, round, twist, bend, and down there. Up here, waist, juggle, steel, twisties, up, back, and all that. Double bend at knee. Feet can do all the stuff you need it to. Let's pop this back in there, which fits nice and securely. Bam. And this, let's pop in the back. It's in there. These things on the back can take off. And this articulates like this, so it can move any which way really you want. Twist there, double bend. And this thing moves, and that can grab things. Heavy duty gun, a bit on the front can move it either side. Looking cool. Don't think you could take this off though. Instructions. So once you get it, you can obviously just pop it in, tells you how to do stuff and where to put things, but you can pretty much do what you like with it. But yeah, just so you don't break it. There. This you can have to have a remote option. So you can take this from Argus, open it up. Oh, it's there, yeah. Have that on the front. There you go. Let's get this breather thingy on, which just plugs in like that nice and easily. Close that. And there. Awesome figure. Also considering that 
uh, those like extra power arm bits um, typically with acid rain world you buy extras and those are the extras you can get and they're pretty pricey you get like a whole accessories pack thing but the fact that he comes with it out of the box is just amazing great stuff here's all the new style bucks team together uh, without their helmets or masks or whatever uh, covering their faces so as you can see they all go well so they've got similarities uh, but they're all different the only things that are uh, all the same are really the lower part of the legs from the knees down are all the same but everything else is is different really uh, share some things but all of it's modular too so you can share parts between each other or weapons uh, some of the helmets kind of go if you maybe it's not really force it but you can kind of get it to work on some but a very good set or not set individual figures that when you put together makes an awesome set and here they all are all suited and booted ready for some action satisfaction so they look all of them look brilliant here and i'm glad i've got the lot on the pricier side, of course, of uh, Acid Rain nowadays, but if you like any of these designs, I would urge you pick them up before they sell out. Um, Peer Club have got them and they've sold out here and there, and then they've gone back in stock. Uh, so yeah, if you are interested in these, then do get them while you can. These placed very highly in my top 10 of 2022 at number three, and I had all of them in that same spot. I was really thinking about I can have any of these figures in that position as I, I find them all equally as cool and badass on any given day. Let's go and check the Bob and Jack video. Uh, link will be in, this, in the description. As well as the unboxing for Bob and Jack and this lot. There's tons of other videos on the channel. I've been falling behind on videos, been meaning to do more, but in transitioning period of trying to uh, move to a new place which has proved quite stressful uh, but i'll try and get some more stuff out as soon as i can anyway uh, thanks so much for watching if you like this uh, like uh, let me know what you think about this lot and comment below and uh, if you want more content please subscribe and i'll scale you later